Hi, welcome to the True Mouse Games YouTube channel. My name, of course, is Alex, and in tonight's episode of RPG Snippets, we will be talking about anti-mages and anti-magic. In most fantasy worlds, magic is an extremely powerful resource, an extremely strong power, maybe the strongest power in the whole world. Wizards and mages and other practitioners often hold positions of great power, and there is often very little to stop them except for other wizards and mages, of course. Now, if, if you introduce something in your campaign that actively hinders magic, the balance of power can shift quite significantly in a quite an interesting way. In my campaign, I have introduced two such elements, one animate and one inanimate. The inanimate part is called the Ender Stones. Now, Ender Stones are a mystery. They are remains of an empire that fell in a giant magical cataclysm about 600 years ago. The core of this empire, where its mightiest cities used to stand, is now a nearly barren wasteland known only as the land of dead cities. And in that weird desert is where the Enderstone can be found. It is the only place in the whole world where Enderstone can be found. Enderstone has the extremely unusual power to weaken magical effects in its vicinity. The larger the Enderstone, the stronger this anti-magic power. Now, some small Enderstones will only be enough to weaken magical effects. Others might be able to remove or destroy permanently any magic that comes close to them. And the largest ones are even capable of damaging and wounding magical creatures or even destroying them, killing them outright. This all makes Enderstone an extremely valuable resource, heavily sought after, but still nonetheless quite rare. The animate part of the anti-magic in my campaign are called dampers. Dampers are ordinary people. They do not have any special abilities as such, nor can they be easily found, for nothing really makes them different from the other people around them. Except for that one single ability, magic that touches them does not affect them. If magic is cast directly on them, the magic disappears. Magic like throwing a stone with magic on them would still affect them, stone would still hit them, but if, say, a fire is summoned onto the damper's body, he would be able to pass through without any further incident. Dampers are rare, but not super rare. One out of maybe 10,000 or so people is a damper. So the average large city might have one or two or three dampers within its population. However, there is an additional mystery about dampers. Most of them die quite young in their early to mid 20s many dampers develop some sort of weird disease or uh, just seem to become physically weaker and weaker and after a few short weeks they usually expire. Normal medicine does not seem to help and magical medicine of course cannot work with a damper. Now think about these two things, dampers and enderstones, or similar powers that you could use and put into your campaign. And think about how that would change the world of your campaign, your fantasy setting. Extremely powerful magical beings suddenly become vulnerable when in the presence of an Enderstone and where, or when attacked by a Damper. And they would become even more paranoid than most of them already are due to that fact. Mages and wizards and these powerful magical creatures like liches and such would have to think about secondary or tertiary strategies to come into effect if they are faced with dampers or with enderstones. These anti-magic powers are a very valuable resource sought after both by mages because they want to hide them, destroy them, or maybe use them against rivals, or by those who hate magic and mages. Maybe some sort of church organization, witch hunters and such, who might be after these things to use them in their battle against the foul force that they consider magic to be. And therefore, both the Enderstones and Dampers are extremely sought after and extremely battled over. With adding such elements to your campaign, you also open up additional options, even though they might be super rare, like they are in my campaign, to get through magic and magical boundaries in many ways. And also, 
the sheer fact that so many people are after this resource and that it is a very rare resource adds additional conflict to your world. Additional quests can be spawned from it. And that, in my opinion, is always a desirable thing in any fantasy setting. Now, I hope you, I could inspire you with this little video to think about anti-magic powers and what they would do if introduced into your world. Let me know if you have something like that in your setting or in the game that you are playing. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like the content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we see each other again, good luck with your own games and I will see you around. Bye bye.